everyone, welcome to Let's Play! Uh, you know the drill, joining us this week is Sorg. Hi Sorg, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Not too bad. Chachi, how's it going? I am doing well. Back in the studio. Oh yeah, Chachi's back in the studio this so week. So it's working well. Awesome. Um, and Riz isn't here right now, mm. so leave a message at the beep. Beep! <laughs> Alright, um... So guys, what have you played this week? Uh, we'll start with Chachi. Um, I so I downloaded NBA Jam on Fire Edition, mm -hmm. um, and two Which things was on sale on, on Xbox, right? Yeah, uh, two things. One, uh, I don't I I don't play NBA Jam correctly, and I can't hear. <laughs> It's doing it again. Okay, that's, that's what we'll work on it. So I, I can't hear when Bobby responds. That's fine, that's fine. Okay. Um, but uh, I, I don't play it correctly because the game is called NBA Jam. Yeah. Like, the whole purpose is slam dunks. Slam dunks, yeah. Uh, I spend all game shooting three-pointers. Okay. <laughs> like, all times. Uh, and, and secondly, um, it's gotten a lot dirtier. Uh, and, and by that I mean the, the announcer's sayings because like one of the things and I, I discussed this with Sorg the other day uh, one of the things that he says while you're shooting three pointers uh, is uh, I am the rainmaker I'm going to ride you hard and put you away wet Whoa! <laughs> and I'm like whoa Mr. Announcer man calm down <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then uh, Call of Duty and um, what else? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, information. Prize Claw and Coin Dozer. I love that you're playing a, pl a claw game on your phone. I love it. I hey, can't help fun. it. Don't knock it. Yeah, I don't can't help it. it. It's fun. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand, but it's fun. All that right. claw game is freaking addictive. God damn it! Oh, sorry. <laughs> I want to just score. Uh, if you're following along at home, there's a hockey game going on. Yeah, yeah. We should probably let them know that 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 Pens game uh, disclaimer. Yes, yeah, so there's a Pens game going on. We'll probably be highly distracted. Uh, yeah. They just got scored on. That's so. probably why Riz is in here. Yeah. What, All right, uh, Sorg, what did you play this week? What did I play? What did I play? Uh, I've, of course, I'm getting into Assassin's Creed 2. I am so close to the end. I get to that point where uh, they gave me the summary of the content I didn't buy yet. Uh, <laughs> which was fun. Um, which I actually might pick up the the DLC for Assassin's Creed Two, uh, because it, it sounds fun, and I'm really getting into the game, and I kind of like like it, and I, I kind of want to get the full experience in before I jump into three. Um, but I'm at that point where like I had to go find all the codex pages I missed, and all oh you found a map and these other things that you didn't play yet, you can go find them and stuff. <laughs> but it did that stupid thing where it's like oh here's the memory start. And uh, it, it's like at the exit to the next world when I should just be taking the, the jumps to each town, right? So that kind of got me wasting like a half an hour on horseback when I realized that and I was in, I couldn't get out of it. Yeah, you know, you're in the mountain pass. You can't go anywhere. There's no out, you know. Um, so there was that. And, and uh, I was actually thinking about, so I think I have to go back. I got to kill the Pope and whatever follows up after that and I should be done. Oh, uh, don't right? kill the Pope. So, uh, 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 spoiler? Spoiler? Oh, no. I, I don't even know how I got to that point where they determined that you have to kill the Pope. This is before he had his Pope Nobile, correct? Uh, yes, because this is like the <laughs> Renaissance. Um, Pope Mo Horse? Da Vinci made him a Pope Mobile. <laughs> da Vinci. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm really considering, uh, I, I might start up a little bit of Assassin's Creed 3 after that, but I'm really thinking I'm going to go and finish off Bioshock 1. Um, yeah, that's one I'm thinking about. Because I know I'm, I'm like more than halfway through it. Like, I'm at the point of that first swerve, you know? Uh, so, last I played it, which was maybe like a year and a half ago. Um, other than that, I discovered Angry Birds Friends. Yeah! Oh, sorry. <laughs> which and is an mean, amazing I'm game, right, Bobby? <laughs> Uh, I made Angry Birds Friends, which like I guess it connects to Facebook, and you have the scores, which was cool on Facebook. I just didn't like playing it on Facebook. Um, Power Rangers Legends, which I saw advertised before uh, Saturday Morning Slam, Bobby. Yeah, how is it? Uh, it's all right. It, it's kind of what I liked about Injustice, but it seems a yeah. little more complex for being a kids game. But you, it starts off with like the Green Ranger, right? Oh, and it's all kind of clunky on thing, but I guess it is an iOS game. Too. It's an iOS game. The graphics look pretty decent. You know, it's nothing really, you know, spectacular, but it's kind of, it's fun enough, you know, to is give it, it a shot. Rock Apocalypse. 
<laughs> I, I, I downloaded it. I didn't play that one yet. Cause... Well, uh, it, it completely side note. Yeah. I would just like to announce that Bobby is a full 20 seconds ahead of me. Ahead oh, of no. You? Yeah. Why? Uh, he's watching on TV. I'm oh, watching on a, oh, I'm watching on a feed. Yeah. So he celebrates or uh, gets pissed off, and then no, 20 seconds later, I get it. I was happy that Sword found Angry Birds. But uh, yeah, it, <laughs> I, I looked for that Power Rangers game, and I can't. I don't get it. I, I don't know if it was on your thing. So yeah, I, 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 I saw. I was like, they saw. I saw the ad for it on Saturday morning cartoons, <laughs> and I saw the Apple Store thing, and I'm like, in. And I stopped paying attention. <laughs> so, um, so there's that. Um, yeah, other than that, what did I do? Uh, oh, I bought all of the Tomb Raiders. All of the Tomb Raiders? Because you could buy every Tomb Raider on Steam for 35 bucks. Oh, wow. And then I went back and I had to... Now I have to install like Windows again on my Macs. I didn't ever install it on the new one to go back and play these games uh, that aren't, that aren't that Mac compatible yet. The new one? Huh? Did that include the new one? Yeah, it included the new one. Wow, for thirty five dollars. For thirty five dollars, wow. it was like twenty five for just the. There, everything was like fifty percent off. I, and I even bought a bunch of Star Wars games, including like Dark Forces, uh, oh. some of the Jedi Knights. Uh, the, both the Jedi Knight games were Mac compatible, uh, so that's cool. I can play them over there. We're on Star Wars later, by the way. Uh, what's that? That's, oh, we will. We will. That's a, that's um, a teaser. Um, and there's a couple other ones I picked up in there because they were like a buck sixty or something like that. I didn't want to get everything because I really didn't really want Knights of the Old Republic. I got like Battlefront Two and stuff on there too, mm. just like stuff like oh, I always wanted to play that. Ah, it's like a couple bucks, so I ended up spending like fifty bucks getting all the Tomb Raiders and in probably about five or six uh, Star Wars games. You didn't want Knights of the Old Repu- 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 Republic. I didn't think it's it's too much for me to get into. Really? Oh. You know, it's one of those involved games. You know, That's a good Star Wars game. Though. It, it, I, he, I always hear it's good. I'll get it another time when it's on sale or something. If I really want to jump into it. But I got, I think way, I got, it for like I got way too many like Assassin's Creed, Bioshock, yeah. uh, uh, Arkham Asylum, GTA games on my list to finish. Yeah, that's you know? true. So it's just one of those I will never, ever get to that. So <laughs> why why even bother with it? Uh, but then I went to uh, try to uh, throw Windows XP back on one of my Macs. And apparently, boot camp only supports Windows 7 and greater. <laughs> so I have to figure out how I got Windows 7 on my laptop again. <laughs> uh, and I don't think I have a copy. I don't know what I did. Uh, but I'm just kind of, uh, I don't want to drop like 90 bucks just to play these games. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know. Word. Wow. Uh, but, you know, it's one of those deals. We'll figure it out. Uh, but, yeah. How about you, Bobby? I played Marvel Avengers Alliance, of course. No uh, they way! Suck, they sucked me back in again this week. They have another Spec Ops that started. Um, it's for Rescue, um, which is Pepper Potts in an Iron Man costume. Oh, jeez. Um, yeah. And I was like, well, maybe I better not go for it. But I'm going for it again. I, I can't help myself. Um, yeah, but I've been playing that. I've been pl- I uh, bought Mega Man 2 on the 3DS. Mm-hmm. Uh, I bought... Um, a Marvel pinball game on 3DS. Uh, and I bought Kirby's Adventure in 3D on a 3DS. But I do have one gripe about the 3DS. Um, when you buy points cards, I got a, a 2,000 point card, uh, which is tw- or $20 mm-hmm. point card. Mm-hmm. Um, they charged me tax. Went to download games. They also charged me tax. How do you charge uh, you tax on points? They double dip the tax. Yeah. Hmm. It's ridiculous. You don't double dip tax. Hey, Riz joined us. Yep. Um, but yeah, I played. I played. I also played um, Just Cause it's Two. It's a soundboard. <laughs> I also played Just Cause Two and Roller Coaster Tycoon Two. Mm-hmm. And I actually bought some of the um, pinball games on uh, on Xbox. They were on sale, so I got like Marvel, the Marvel Avengers games. Nice. The tables, um, and they're pretty good. I, I actually enjoyed playing them a lot. Um, and I'm hoping to go, get back into Bioshock Infinite this week and possibly start the new or the first Bioshock. So awesome! That's what I've been playing. Um, Riz, what what have you been playing since you're just joining us? Oh, um, let's see, Marvel Avengers Alliance again, Bobby. <laughs> suck. Um, I haven't been playing. Like, Chachi can. Te- attest to this. I haven't been playing much Call of Duty lately. Yeah, I don't think any of us have it lately. No, I'm, I'm the Friday only night. one still going. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah, but but I did pick up a arcade game for my Xbox, 
and it is probably one of the best arcade games I've seen on Xbox Live. Okay. You take Fez, mm-hmm. and you put him in a different platformer type game, mm-hmm. where it is high. I call it a mixture between Fez, Shoot Many Robots, and I forget what else I called it, but it is strictly addicting. It's called Battle Block Theater. Hmm. hmm. If, if, if you have 1,600 credits or points or whatever they call them, uh, Microsoft Studios does own the rights so you can't play it on PlayStation or, or the Wii or anything like that. Mm-hmm. But it is it is worth it's 1,600 credits or points. Keep playing credits. But I've been playing that for a while. And uh, that's about it. Hmm. Uh, who, who all went? So I don't have to repeat myself. No, you're done. You're done. Yeah, we're, we're Bobby, all done. Um, what, brother what have you been the, playing? Brother, oh? brother Sorg in the chat room. Uh, continue Bioshock 2. Um, he thinks he's almost at the end. Uh, he opted to do a little GTA Vice City. Um, and he started to play Final Fantasy 1 on his iPhone and Final Fantasy 4 on his GBA. Nice. Excellent. So. And, and if I can put in uh, uh, just a moment here, uh, Bobby, uh, mm-hmm. there is a new feature that was implemented on the site today oh. that uh, is actually going to uh, betray you, in particular, on your Marvel Alliance addiction. Oh, uh, no. Over on the right, on, on the uh, let insert, pl- uh, insert coin to begin dot com, yeah, is all of our Raptor streams. Oh, nice. So, uh, I like that. I like and, that. And of though. course, when it says that Bobby has played two games, it's just two listings for Avengers Alliance. I've played seven hours. And then hours three of Avengers listings Alliance. for Avengers Alliance, and then three more <laughs> listings for Avengers Alliance. <laughs> Bobby, you, you have a, you have a it problem. It starts with A. I mean, you know, it, it just. Uh, you have a problem. I do. Maybe a little bit of a problem. So, <laughs> anyway. All right. Um, did, did anybody. First question Did anybody download a pizza this week from Pizza Hut? Mm, no. I did the week before. Okay. Chachi did? No. Oh, Chachi's losing the thing. We'll try to fix that. <laughs> and did anybody play this week's challenge, which is our yes. next topic of discussion? I did. I tried I, I tried that version. Yes, I tried the virtual NES version that you guys linked instead uh-huh. of the actual put put in the cartridge in. Oh jeez. <laughs> Well, I'm moving. So I'm moving breaks. my. I'm moving a lot of my old consoles around between the office and the studio. Uh, mm-hmm. I just took a big box of them up to the studio. I'm going to try to hook up and downtime this week. Um, so, 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 but I tried it, and it was like in the audio glitches. I couldn't get past that. Uh, yeah, so. when I turned off the game, it it kept going, and I nearly <laughs> cried. And Java is, is is based in Java, and Java is really weird on the Mac Java's right now. Evil. So, what about you, Bobby? I, I did play the game. Um, yeah. I had a couple of different matches. I had the Bring uh, Mega Powers, mm-hmm. Hulk Hogan versus the Macho Man Randy Savage. Nice. Uh, Randy Savage picked up the victory. I was not Randy Savage. <laughs> 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 um, I forgot what the, pin was. Yeah, the, I, that's, um, that was my there's problem. There's two buttons. <laughs> it, uh, no, it's not even two buttons. It's, it's a like combination. Down, it's up, yeah. down, B. Up, down, B. Oh, geez. Up. Down. I did win. Eight. I did win one match with Bam Bam Bigelow. Nice. Oh, Bam Bam deserves. You do the cartwheel. Yes, I did the you cartwheel. Throw a couple cartwheels. I, I love the cartwheel from Bam Bam Bigelow. Um, another thing, another feature I love in this game is the random collectibles that go across that. Yeah, the like the entities. sunglasses that bounce in the air. Yeah, Hulk Hogan's cross ne- necklace. Um, what are there? Andre the Giant has a big hunk of ham. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Million Dollar Man, dollar sign. Dollar signs, yeah. Um, what? what the it, wait, wait, wait. I forgot about this. The ring actually drops and bounces yeah. onto your screen. Yeah. What is bounce. up with that? I have no idea. Well, the you know, in the 1980s, they have like they they actually have strings that hold the ring up. Well, they didn't have and, pyro, so <laughs> then they just you know whenever everybody's all ready, yeah, no, they just let go one? of the of the of the thing and. Of the turnbuckles, and they all drop. Don't you remember the great ring drop of WrestleMania One? That was science. Um, another thing. Um, I know it was early NES, but um, 
to me, these characters walk around like they have a load in their pants. <laughs> yeah, that is, that's right. Everybody's kind of hunched over a little bit, Yeah, right? everyone's like kind of like looking old. And it was a precursor to today's older mm-hmm. wrestlers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So. Which is funny, because they all kind of walk around like that now. Yeah. Especially Honky Tonk and Hulk. Another another good feature about this game is the music. I actually, yes. I, I love the soundtrack of this game. Hey, Sorg, you, you're playing a little bit of it right now. Mm-hmm. In the background. That's Hulk Hogan. That, that is Hulk Hogan, isn't it? That was some 8-bit awesomeness right there. That is... That is... No matter what <laughs> platform it is on, either 8-bit or video game or even live... Mm-hmm. This guy's Hulk Hogan's theme music is by far the best. And for audio listeners, Riz has his wrestle, bu- wrestle buddy Hulk Hogan. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been through some rough times. Well, if you yeah. stop having sex with it, it'd probably be fine. <laughs> it has movable parts, Chachi. Oh no! Oh, move on, moving on, moving on. <laughs> you um, wouldn't you, seriously. <laughs> moving on. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> Also, all right. Also, there are weapons in the game. Um, Honky Tonk Man's hair. <laughs> it's of a course. weapon. Of course, Honky Tonk Man's hair is in the game. And Bam Bam Bigelow kind of looks like a turtle. So That has a turd in his pants. Yeah, <laughs> it has a load in his pants. He's gimping along. Yep. <laughs> all right. But uh, again, okay, okay, let me go. Let's go around the table here. Mm-hmm. Five stars. What would you give it? Out of five stars? Out of five. Okay, for the um, era, uh, for the era, or today, right now, does it hold up? I actually, this do era and then today, is, and does it hold up? Mm-hmm. Sword. Uh, I would give it three. I would give it three across the board. <coughs> so it holds up. Uh, it holds up to the three. It was, you know, I mean, it's kind of limited. I mean, I think if you put it towards, I, I think other wrestling games were doing a better job at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, I want—I don't want to say it's a terrible wrestling game. I didn't think it was a terrible wrestling game. I thought it was great. I was so excited. Hulk Hogan's on a, on my Nintendo, you know. Uh, but when you had stuff like pro wrestling, which I think predated this, doing outside the ring and stuff, I, I just feel like you know it, it kind of went out, you know. Um, but I think I think they came back with Avengers with like WrestleMania Challenge and Steel Cage and everything. Like they they got it. They got to go. Yeah. Um, I thought this yeah. was the first kind of run at it. So, and we know how great Acclaim was. Yeah, the great the great ones were like, uh, 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 SNES era. Uh, mm-hmm. Stuff like uh, that. Then Acclaim ruined all of the wrestling dreams. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wait, was it Acclaim? <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. Acclaim. Chachi, what would you give it? Twos. Twos, Twos? across the board? No. Um, no. It wasn't that great of a game then. It's definitely not that great of a game now. <laughs> um, pro wrestling was a better game. Whoa. <laughs> The only uh, the only thing this game had going for it was the fact that it was real wrestlers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Other than and that, the license. yeah, and, uh, yeah. The, the license is what saved it. If it wasn't for the license, straight ones. When you start thinking about it, you start thinking about the, clan, the the how hard the programming was to do what they did versus pro wrestling. Right. Yeah, yeah. Although they do some nice things, like some of the movements and stuff. Like some yeah, of like the flying kicks and yeah, I wouldn't not even that. Just like graphically having the digitized guys like that was great for the time, right? Right. That yeah. looks better. There are certain things where it just looks better in some of the presentation, but the game, like the fact you can't leave the ring and stuff, it just I think it just dropped. Was, yeah. was there a way to go to the top rope? I think yes. There is. Yeah. I couldn't figure it out. It's only on the top two. Yeah. Yeah. You can yeah only it's do on, it the on the top two. two. And Same was, with uh, pro wrestling. Mm-hmm. It was like that was a combination too, wasn't it? It was like up and A or something. something yeah, mm-hmm. I couldn't figure out how to do it. And um, I myself wasn't a, around that era of video gaming, of wrestling games. Mm-hmm. But as of right now, I'd say about I'd give it if I was over there and I knew it, I'd probably get like a two and a half. Yeah, because like I said, the 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 graphics were good for its time, mm-hmm. right? But and and the music, as we oh, the music was great for the time. Oh, yes. Yeah, but you have combinations with with this game. Mm-hmm. 
Pin should be one button. Attack should be one button. But they were only working with like five buttons. But select still, could have been pin. <laughs> A. A would be pin. B would be attack. Because that's all you can do. You can attack, and then and then if you hit B again, it's attack. Then you hit A, it's attack. But then you have to hit up and down and B. That's normal. <laughs> well, I haven't I haven't played it in a while. But wasn't the pin in pro wrestling just down in one of the buttons? Yeah, you know, there's too much <clears throat> stuff to do that you have to get these complicated get, things. Yeah, and I I was very confused. I was a very confused little boy today, uh, last week, trying to figure out how to pin the Honky Tonk Man. <laughs> it shouldn't be that hard to pin the Honky Tonk Man or Bam Bam Bigelow. Especially nowadays. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, now you can just push him over. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be like a little turtle on his back trying to get up. That's Bam Bam Bigelow. Oh, R.I.P. Bam Bam Bigelow, oh. by the way. Um, I, I would give the game a 3 back in the day and a 2.5 today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So. All right. Uh, now it's time for things you should be made aware of. Things you should be made aware of. All right. Um, there's a new Borderlands character coming out uh, May 14th. Um, if you have the season pass, I have the season pass uh, for Borderlands 2. I think it's free. Um, anybody else? I don't know how much it's going to be. Um, they didn't give a price point or anything like that, but it's it's actually one of the psycho bandits that's going to be playable. Okay. Huh. Like one of the bad guys is finally a good guy is that you can it, play as. Is it as. the midget or is it just a... No, this thing. is a regular uh, bad guy. It's, his name is Krieg, and I think he has like a giant mace that he carries around. Mm-hmm. So that that should be fun. <laughs> I'd rather be the midget. Yeah. Just saying. Midgets are fun in that game. Especially that's when dangerous. they're on fire. <laughs> so, all right, cool. another game... That was announced. Uh, one of everybody's favorite, like, downloadable games. Um, Plants vs. Zombies 2 was announced. Um, it's going to be out in July. Oh, yeah. Uh, PopCap announced it. Uh, Chachi, I think you, you did a story on our, uh, our site about it. Did you see the video for this, though? No. Uh, you know what? Screw that video. Fuck, Why? Fuck that video. What's wrong with this video? Because it starts off with that guy, and I fucking <laughs> hate that guy. <laughs> It was funny. They're showing a little bit on one of the other uh, shows I was I was listening to, and the like the whole like it, it, isn't it time for them to do a sequel? Wouldn't anybody? And they they go the whole way around to like a pregnant lady. I think it's about time for yeah. a sequel. You know, I, I thought it was fun. Boogie? It was it was fun. It was humor. It, it was a, a cool sense of humor. Are What's you that? talking about Boogie? Boogie? Yeah, the, the fat guy. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> I, he, has, he had a rough life. I, I, I like Boogie. I don't like that guy. No idea life. what you're talking about. He had a rough that life. That guy's gonna stick in, stick together. There you go. <laughs> Respect for that guy. But uh, yeah, um, it was announced. Uh, it's coming out in July. Um, and, and that should be fun. all that they know. And that's all yeah, that needs to be said. It's nuts. plants. It's zombies. It's going to lose half your life to it, as yep. usual. So, yes. and, and I have faith in PopCap. They are really good at what they do. Mm-hmm. So, yep. Yeah. And we have an update to one of our stories from last week. Oh, oh no, not yes, last week. We do. Week before. The, oh no, I thought it was last. No, week. it was this week. It was, it was last. last week. It was last week. So yeah. Because um, I remember you be, you yelling about it because it's not. Yeah, you yelled about yeah, it. Yeah, you yelled at us. You yelled at us about it. The guy that bought the banana, or that won the banana, I the, it was the, week the dre- dreadlock banana, at the carnival and was screwed out of twenty six hundred dollars. They. The well, let, we, let's, let's we mentioned that College Humor was doing yeah. the uh, the likes on their page in order to buy it from him. Mm-hmm. It they was, got more likes for for the uh, the site, and it they was it was twenty six. Oh, let me go. Yeah, go ahead. It, I got the numbers here. It was okay, twenty six thousand likes for them to pay him two thousand six hundred dollars for the. Gigantic banana with the dreadlocks. It's a real but thing. The kicker is, if they got thirty thousand, mm-hmm. they will not only pay for the banana, banana with the dreadlocks. They will also give his kid his connect. 
And they and, did it. Oh wow. Oh wow, that's great. Oh, and the thing awesome. is the, the thing is the twenty six like hundred dollars they spent on this still isn't as much as it would be for getting like, you know, Jim Carrey or whoever else has been on this site, you know? Or am I thinking funny or die? You're thinking of funny or die. I'm thinking funny or die. Never mind. What's the like production value oh, for some of those skits still they do? Production values, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, that's 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 a good deal for them. And now they have a Rasta banana. Now yes. they have a Rasta <laughs> banana. I hope they I hope they do something with this. So I oh, hope I think, it, it I think it'll be appearing in videos. The times in the life of the Rasta banana. And it's just, it's um, just Sorg, a video of our the next... bananas just sitting Can right? I just say that this oh, entire okay. situation is not cool? <laughs> it's entirely <laughs> not cool. <laughs> Seriously. But they, it's a Rasta banana. They fucking rewarded him for being dumb. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it was pretty much. Oh, my. But, but, but his kid wanted the, ec- the connect. Yeah, they did it for the kid, man. Yeah. They did it for the kid. He had twenty six hundred dollars just sitting in his house. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that is kind of and, yeah. And the poor kid has a stupid father, and they're trying to help the kid. Okay, like listen, you should not be penalized for your idiot father that spent twenty six hundred dollars on a Rasta banana. No, but the father should be penalized and not given back the twenty six hundred dollars. <laughs> well, hopefully, it goes into a college fund. Yeah. Right. Again, I, yeah. I, I would. Uh-huh. Sit- I, I, I see that happening. I would seriously <laughs> buy the Rasta banana. Yeah, yeah. You know how much fun they could have with the Rasta banana? So that's some Call it humor. Right I want there. to buy the Rasta banana. $2,600. $2,600. Yeah. So $2.60. All right. Sorg, I think you have our next one. So I am a fan and uh, bought a lot of games. Uh, what has contributed to my humongous, I'll never get to all of them, Steam collection. Uh, has been the Humble Bundle. Uh, they've been doing a lot of great stuff. I've always keep an eye out for them, even though, like I, you know, even to throw a couple bucks at them. You know, um, they currently have one that is the Double Fine Studios. Uh, collection uh, that includes Costume Quest Psychonauts, which I think I've bought about three times by now. Uh, stacking, uh, if you pay uh, the average, which is $7.99, you will get unlocked Brutal Legend. At $35, you will pre order Double Fine's Kickstarter project, Broken Age. At $70, you'll su- you will also get a t shirt on top of all the rest of the stuff. So, uh, and on top of that, you also receive the uh, Soundtracks for select games in, in uh, MP3 and FLAC formats. They've done a few of these before. They were all indie game bundles. Uh, they've done ones that were uh, like uh, indie music. Like I think there was nerdcore music at the time. Um, and even you throw like you know the eight bucks at it, even throw two bucks at it, you'll get the games. You help them out. Uh, right now, it's to support the Electronic Frontier Foundation, uh, which is one of those big firms, you know, big big groups that's. Uh, helps fight things like SOPA, CISPA, things that we're concerned with, uh, privacy on the internet, uh, defend games on the internet, um, and Child's Play Charities, which of course, you know, we're a big fan mm-hmm. of here uh, amongst all of us on the show. So it's humblebundle.com. Sign up to their mailing list. That's usually how I find out about stuff like this, and I usually end up, I usually end up buying... I, I was going to bring it up, know, but I whatever, deleted the but, email. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was an accident. I didn't mean to delete the email. Like, usually that stuff gets that mm-hmm. sticks around like I'll, I'll do a post on it tomorrow yeah um but uh yeah i i was gonna bring it up i couldn't find the email always a good thing with the double fine or yep. the humble bundles so so go check that out uh humblebundle.com bobby and that is double fine with me mm-hmm. ah, double double right double double. all right our next I'll segment just, wait is hold on the, time out oh, oh, i'd just okay. like to go to the chat room for a second to uh okay. point out the fact that alexander cars found mario's missing on virtual oh, nes.com why did you have Let's to bring that up this again no 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 okay moving on bobby <laughs> greatest <laughs> game ever <laughs> All right, our next segment is where so we time. enact a comic strip. Yes. Uh, Sword, do you want to play the part of Green Arrow this week? Yes, yes. I will read okay. the comics so you don't have to. All right. I'm I'll Green play Arrow. The part of Batman. Oh, yeah, of course you got a big Batman. <clears throat> Ready? Yes. Okay, it starts with Batman opening his uh, utility belt and pulling out a little pill. Whoa. Here, Green Arrow. <laughs> Take these pills and you'll be faster, stronger, and more durable. Take these and you'll be able to stand toe to toe with Superman. Nice. <sighs> you describe. You're telling oh, the, very good. You uh, got the next, next one. Uh, shot of the panel is Green Arrow firing his arrow. 
All right, you big blue fastest green arrow is zap. And we see green arrow has been cut in twine. Been His uh, torso is smoking, and he's right there. And the, the last panel has Batman looking at it, looking into the camera. Wait, I think those were pills for high blood pressure. <laughs> uh, 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 and, and scene. scene. I don't know why we still do this segment. I don't know. I don't know. It's I don't even fun. know if anybody likes this segment. It's fun uh, for I, us. I, it, it, what's that? It's fun for us. It's fun for us. All right. <laughs> When do I get to break out my terrible Batman impression? <laughs> Just now. <laughs> All right. Um, moving on to the news, some serious stuff. <laughs> uh, Riz, I think you wrote an article on the new Xbox. Uh, yeah. A few weeks ago, I was looking at my... I turned on my Xbox, and I realized that there is a gigantic picture on the front of it. And it states, A New Generation. Five was it twenty five twenty one thirteen, mm-hmm. and I'm thinking, oh, they're coming out with a new system, aren't they? And it's weird because they're going to broadcast their live new system console, live nude consoles, new system console, <laughs> a new system console. <laughs> On their old system. Oh, wow. So, That's fancy. so it's like, uh, it, it's going to be kind of awkward. So, like, so I get to, so basically, I get to watch this thing, the big unveiling, look at the big thing I want to buy here in about eight months, and then look down at my old crusty Xbox. Yeah, it, it's like, hey, guys, remember, remember this thing over here, your Xbox? Yeah, we're going to change it. And then the Xbox is going to feel a little weirded out, isn't it? Like, Awkward. The Xbox has, I'm pretty sure the Xbox has feelings. <laughs> uh, and it's not going to like that that they're going to have you know their own press conference on their old console. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I, like I said, I did make an article and... Um, I did get list off a few things that I'm looking forward to in said console uh, announcement, and if you would, if you will, wouldn't mind, I would like to list off a few. Okay, go for it. Uh, the first one I want to talk about is uh, like remember when the Wii U came out, and remember how they they, they showed a console. They show they, they show the they even show the controller. They showed a console and the controller. But the one thing that we all had in our mind was where's the software? Where's the where's the different games that we're gonna have? Mm-hmm. Where's this? Where's that? Where's the, where's the where's Zelda? Where's you know Mario Party? Where's all this? And they didn't deliver. Xbox has to deliver on games they have the liver yep. on like even if it's not really you know xbox specific mm-hmm. they're there they're there you see like i don't know like the black flag on new system mm-hmm. or to give me another one of uh, maybe maybe bioshock infinite is going to be on there mm-hmm. but at least show us something that's good mm-hmm. don't show us like what you can do online with your apps. Well, that's the no, other thing. That's no old good. man simulation. I either. think there's going to be, I think there's going to be a stretch. And and how much stuff at the PlayStation Four event game wise were you like, ooh, I'd buy a new console for that? Yeah. Was there and, much really? I mean, was there anything uh, that we were like, okay, yes, I, I'm down with that. Mm-hmm. Was, and that, thanks for bringing PlayStation Four up, because the other one I had, I think it was number one actually. Show us the fucking console. Mm-hmm. That's all I want. Learn from Sony. Mm-hmm. I want. I want to see something other than a controller. Mm-hmm. And but and if you want to read what else I have, I even mention Usher. Go go on. What? And, <laughs> Usher. You don't, you don't remember Usher? Yeah, Usher was Bell Last D three. You oh, don't remember my. Usher's 
awesome performance from last E3 no. that nobody give, gave a crap about? And I no. said no. No. No Usher, please. No Usher. No Usher. Sick. Sick. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was my new story, and uh, please don't mess us up. Don't screw up, up Microsoft. Don't, don't, don't. Don't Sony PlayStation 3 this. Don't. All right. Um, uh, and if, for audio listeners, I am pointing my finger directly in the camera <laughs> to Xbox. To through the Microsoft. camera and straight at <laughs> Redmond, Washington. And Microsoft. There you go. All right, our next story. Um, you guys remember uh, the Minnesota Vikings punter Chris Cluey, uh, avid gamer? Um, yeah. He was mm-hmm. cut by the Minnesota Vikings oh. this week. Um, he's been, he's very outspoken. Um, he, he really stuck up for like gay marriage and stuff like that. Um, that's like the reason that they're cutting him basically. Um, Aww. but he's a big gamer and, uh, hopefully he finds a team soon. Uh, he's a big Warcraft fan. Uh, and he, he's, he's, he's one of us. So in, in the world of jocks, he's, he's a gamer. So, and a nerd. So we're sticking up for the, so the geeky, up for, for geeky, geeky jock. Is that the story here? Well, yeah, we're let's, sticking let's up be for fair. The geeky jock. Let's be fair. He's a punter. <laughs> oh, he's not a oh so he's not a real football player. No, he's oh, not okay. a jock. He's All a right. punter. But, but before games, like he would tweet out like way because he, you had a, you have to like tweet out be- like hours before the game, but he treated every game like a quest. <laughs> <laughs> he would say like, "Oh, in today's quest, I want to get so many yards from this punt." And that's so awesome. It was, it was pretty fun. That's awesome. So hopefully he finds a team. Um, our next story is about Kingdom Hearts, mm-hmm. uh, not Kingdom Hearts three, unfortunately, but uh, PlayStation is coming out with a Kingdom Hearts HD remix. Um, it's going to be Kingdom Hearts. Uh, Chain of Memories from the DS and 358 slash two days. I don't know what that is um, from for the the, the DS uh, plus an art book and it's going to be 39.99 for the PlayStation 3 all in HD um, and it's supposed to come out in September. Um, do you guys remember playing Kingdom Hearts? Yeah, I, I really only played the first one though. Mm-hmm. Um, first one was really good. I really, I yeah yeah. It, it, oh, it was, it was an amazing experience. It really was. Um, I mean, I, you know, I, for some reason I was thinking back to Kingdom Hearts and just thinking about like how, how the great, the, the great feeling it was just to, uh, wander and, and find poo just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> we the poo. Uh, he said poo. Yeah, the poo. But I mean, it just, just, it, it just fulfilled every fantasy of interacting with Disney characters. I thought mm-hmm. to, I mean, some of the levels were like, sometimes you're like, wow, I see how, how is this a world when it seems so boxed in? Um, but then, but still it was like, gave a pretty good feeling of going from world, like of this world hopping kind of situation. Never played the second one though. I stayed away from yeah. those weird DS ones. Uh, but so, so wait a minute. And this, is, and this is as not a Final Fantasy fans, so I didn't even get half mm-hmm. of the stuff going on. I was there for the Disney. So, so <laughs> wait a minute. PlayStation Three mm-hmm. yeah. is coming out with a Kingdom Hearts game, correct? Mm-hmm. Correct. Of sorts. And it is not Kingdom Hearts, but it, yeah, is, it is. It is the 3DS version that they had. No, it's it's the first. It's uh, Kingdom Hearts. It's Kingdom uh, Hearts one. Well, what happened was these these DS ones were like a extra story. Yeah, like it was the filler between one and two. So, and it it looks like it's they're going to take the cinematics from the the DS ones and splice them in with the game. Is, is, Is that? Am I reading this right? Um, like that, that's, that's what I'm getting from this line here. Eh. It's fully remastered in HD. Uh, it's a compilation of the critic claim Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, previously exclusive to the Japanese market, Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. In addition, this collection will also feature enhanced gameplay mechanics, HD cinematic story videos from Kingdom Hearts 358 slash 2 days. So it looks like it's the full game. And, and, and trophies. So I, it, so it's all going to be mixed in. Okay. I was, mm-hmm. I, so it's, it's the first one and those additional ones retold for being on a console. Oh, uh, so it's so it's like the first game and then it's, it's like, like the, the first game download. It's like 
uh, like DLCs already put in the game. <coughs> kind of, yeah. So, okay, okay, okay. Because those other games were really kind of like filler games, you know? Yeah. Like they should, they, in today's language, they would have been DLC, but this is, you know, PlayStation 2 days, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that, uh, I, I think I'm going to pick that up. Mm -hmm. Um, it's for yeah. PS3. I, I would PS3. say if I can get it updated. Enough. If you have not gotten into Kingdom Hearts, kind of curious about it, I, I say picking something like this up would be great. You know, um, so if you haven't fun. gotten into Kingdom Hearts, crawl out from under the <laughs> rock you live in. That's not no. That's not fair though. I mean, it took me a while to get the Ocarina because I didn't have a N64 at the time, and and I got way into it right before Wind Waker because they had that package, you know, that came with that. Um, so I I, I I wouldn't fault anybody for being late to the party for any of these games. So, yeah. um, but that comes out in September, so September tenth it looks like. But yeah, you get you get a giant art book with it too, which is really cool looking. Oh boy! Mm -hmm. well, hey, no, it's really, a big book, dude. If you're really into it, that's cool. Yeah, it's free stuff, Riz. That's, yeah, free. Right. <laughs> well, you pay thirty nine ninety nine for the game, but still. All right, remember last week when we said Nintendo wasn't having a press conference at E3? Or is it mm -hmm. two weeks ago? Or two weeks ago, whenever it was. Whenever, Instead, whatever. it looks like they're having a meetup. Yeah, uh, they're having a come play with a software showcase, which is basically a press conference. At their booth. This is the difference. <laughs> yeah. So they're gonna, at their booth. It's not another production where they're going to spend a bunch of money. Uh, okay. Yeah. I think that um, says we're you know for years they've been saying uh, we're Nintendo we're not in direct competition with these other with the other big two. Mm -hmm. um, this just proved it. R.I.P. Nintendo. Not R.I.P. No, 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 no. I think no, no, I think it's, no, no it's not R.I.P. It's so hard it, <laughs> to say goodbye. It's kicking to the what butt. we had. <laughs> Mm. All the but, good uh, times that made us feel I don't know how to pronounce that guy's name. And uh, Miyamoto actually will speak at the uh, software showcase. Um, I, they're, they're probably going to show off some Nintendo uh, games that are coming up. Maybe the new, more on the new Zelda for 3DS. Hopefully, maybe more on the new um, Zelda. Mm. HD Zelda for Wii U. Give us um, but something. Give they, us they, a reason to give, care. Give me the... Just, just, actually... Just do like a um, cinematic or something. Could show us some art. Go, hey, look, Zelda on HD. Look. Yeah. Uh, uh, but, uh, I mean, but, what, yeah. But here's some good news. Yeah. Um, yeah. Nintendo has already confirmed that a new Mario game, <gasps> a new Mario Kart game, <gasps> about time, and a new Smash Brothers will be soon. <gasps> okay. 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 So you it took us this long. So you took us this long to get the things that we expect because yeah. everything is so by the book with Nintendo. Oh yeah, yep. you're gonna get a Mario game eventually, and we're gonna make you wait for it. Ah, oh, you're gonna get Zelda eventually. You're gonna get Mario Kart because that's just what we do but we you know then, yet they drop a ball when they should be when they have new franchises like freaking Pikmin that should have had a Wii version yes. you know I I don't know it, it's just they do so good when they go into something like Metroid right Pro, yeah. Metroid Prime was amazing and carried through to the Wii right but uh, then what you know I, I just I, it, I'm, I'm surprised how many times they drop a ball with sure thing franchises and don't line things up correctly. I mean, I know it's a big business. I know production takes time and stuff. But I don't know. Sony seems to be a good, doing a good job at delivering God of War games, you know, and Uncharted and everything like that, and making sure those games are there, making sure the franchises are there. Jack, Jack and Daxter uh, uh, went away with PlayStation Two. They started over and did Uncharted, and are kicking ass. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, there's not, not at least replacements for the things we're missing. You know, and it's Naughty, more Naughty glaring Dogs. when there's no Mario at launch. Naughty Dog's doing a great job for Sony. Yeah. And oh, yeah. It, look what they have coming on down the pike that everybody's excited about. Exactly. Exactly. Hey, hey remember, remember when the, the old, the founder of uh, Naughty Dog went to uh, go, go with his other company? And then what happened to that? That, that. THQ, anybody? Wah, wah. Uh, it's so hard. All right. Our to final say news story goodbye. this week, as Chachi serenades us, um, EA has the exclusive rights to Star Wars game now. Aww. Everybody's favorite company. 
Mm, yeah. they, 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 they can't. They, they, they can't mess us up. Yes, they can. But no, shh, they, they can't. No, really, they can, Riz. Uh, but I, the only I, thing, the saving grace from it being on the... The and we I, I was just giving the rap sign. Um, the, the only thing that's saving this from being a total disaster is that the three good departments of EA um, are, is the departments that are picking up uh, the franchise. Look at so, my Bioware thing. Bioware. Look, Bioware. Ooh, mm. they had one good game out of fourteen. Bioware. Bioware. Yeah. Bioware. Mass Effect. Mass Effect. And Knights of the Old Republic. Yeah. Nice yes. Of the- they Mass had Effect, three Mass good Effect games two. out of four. But they're Star Wars yeah, good games. Dude. But, um... They, they, yeah. I no, it, I you can't necessarily say that, because they, they I, flat out announced that it's all original content. Mm-hmm. Because oh. the two games that Lucas uh, LucasArts was working on are being shopped out elsewhere mm-hmm. to get finished. I, know, I thought they got they, straight out canceled. No, um, it, Lucas or Disney is shopping out Star Wars thirteen thirteen and oh, the good. other oh, one. Oh, they are so to, so to different developers to finish. Okay, so okay. at least they're not dead in the water, right? You know, that's okay. Good. That's I didn't know that. It's still, it's still, it's a problem. Yeah, it, you don't you don't see too many good things happening from from transferred properties like that right. mid development, huh? EA, look at me. If if. If or when you mess this up, again, I'm pointing directly into the camera, poking EA in the chest. If you mess this up, you think this, you think the backlash from Mass Effect was bad? bad? You're, you're not only going to have gamers, you're not gonna, only going to have nerds, you're going to have Star Wars fans up your ass. It can't be worse than a dancing game, though. <sighs> so, all right, we're going to roll on to our boss battle real quick here. Mm-hmm. Um, well, this week's boss battle question, what franchise would you like to see with a different publisher? Okay, Chachi. Uh, I would like to see uh, the Zelda series on a different publisher. Publisher okay. or developer? Both. Or developer, publisher. What, what company would you like to see? Anything on Xbox. With? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So you have to buy a weird console in order to play it. Correct. I yeah, want right. I want the entire catalog of Zelda released on Xbox. I don't care how they have to what they have to do to make that deal happen. Mm-hmm. That's what I want. Okay. Okay. Uh, Riz. Hmm. Come back to me. Okay, sword. Uh, I would like WWE to move to. Oh wait. <laughs> uh, oh wait. Um, hey, but um, above that, I'd like TNA to go to a publisher. I'll do something with them. You know, I, I think that's a perfect TNT. example, right? Hey, you know, let's think about the times where it's gone right. You know, look what's happened to Mortal Kombat. We wouldn't have had, yes. you know, Mortal Kombat be awesome if it was still under Midway, you know, whatever, right? They're floundering mm-hmm. with it. Now WB took it over and they rolled it into freaking injustice, man. Yeah. I mean,. Uh- we would not have Injustice without Mortal Kombat and Midway Folding. Um, we okay, w- I got one. Okay. It's actually going on your sword, because I was actually about to say, and let's just say, you know, Borderlands mm-hmm. on Netherrealm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah. How, that would be pretty cool. The graphics would be good. Right. Everything else would be good. Mm-hmm. And I'd actually probably play it more. Mm-hmm. Bobby, sorry. Uh, with that, uh, I, I didn't give a real answer. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, uh, let me okay. give. Uh, I want to see Capcom merge with Namco, just straight up. Ah, nice. There's enough cool properties there, quirky properties between the two. They're already mashing stuff up with the uh, with the X crossover series. Um, I, I've been having a blast Cap- playing. Namco. I've been having blast playing Street Fighter Tekken on my phone and on my Xbox. Really, um, so I, I just want to see just more insanity like yeah, that. Mega Pac Man. Uh, really, I mean, let's go, <laughs> let's go Tekken versus Marvel. Why not, right? Uh, or something else. Like, let's go, you know, throw like Namco versus Capcom. Throw Namco versus Marvel. Uh, throw Katamari versus Mega Man. You know what I mean? I, I think that would be kind of fun. 
<laughs> that, that would, that would be kind of awesome. It just feels like amazing. something that would work, and I feel like that's two companies that would just like end up merging, or or them and Bandai, or or you know Capcom and Bandai, or or, or mm-hmm. something like that. Something very Japanese. <gasps> so um, Capcom Sega. Uh, my my oh, company, oh. I would like to see take over a game franchise. I'd love to see a, what Bethesda could do with Dragon Age. Um, they've done wonders with Skyrim. Um, I think it would be awesome uh, with that type of gameplay on uh, Bethesda's open world uh, game, mm-hmm. like um, like Origins type of gameplay. I don't mm-hmm. know if you guys ever played Origins. No, uh, it's a real fun like strategy slash RPG elements to it, or or even Gearbox with their their animation style, getting uh, a hold of the Dragon Age uh, franchise. Mm-hmm. I think that would be fun. So, All right, get it out of EA's hands. <laughs> yes, somebody does take it over. Yeah, they, they don't. They have a death grip on anything they have right now, though, <laughs> including the NFL. All right. Oh, well, um, I think that's going to do it for us this oh, week. I'm sorry. From the chat, oh. real quick. Oh, uh, Mega Man X Smash TV from Alexander Cars. I don't care if it's the wrong companies. Uh, <laughs> Mad Mike says, "Really want to see Lego Marvel versus DC." Oh, yeah. we forgot they to mention do that. this. I don't know if they're allowed to do that. I, I, I don't know. There's been crossovers between they the comic book companies. Lego Why franchise. not? They'll figure it out. They're, Marvel's having their Lego franchise. Yep. Marvel and DC. Remember, Marvel and DC did work together on Amalgam. Yep. So it could happen. <laughs> never say never. And never also, I got one else. Okay. <laughs> NHL or NFL or any other sports that are on EA go over to 2K Sports. Dude, 2K was so great back in the day. Yeah. Yeah? So, no, I said, yeah. I oh, said, okay. That would be cool. Yeah, <laughs> hockey they didn't do too good with, though. I like, uh, I'd, I'd keep I like NFL 2K, though. NFL 2K. Yeah, NFL would move. They could move. It was right. awesome on Dreamcast. Yeah. Yeah. So, All right. Well, that's going to do it for us this week. Um, this week's challenge is going to be Kirby's Adventure for a retro game of the week. Nice. Um, and... Uh, you can reach us on insertcointobegin.com. Uh, there's a lot of new articles going up daily now. And um, you can follow us on Twitter on at insertcointb. And that'll do it for us. So you can follow us on over. Raptor now. What? You can do. You can follow stuff on Raptor now from us. Oh, yeah. Our Raptors are on the side. So, all right. Game over. <laughs>